In this video, we're going to talk about how to style the tooltip widget. Now you could use the theme roller we talked about a few videos ago, but there are going to be times when you want to go ahead and update the style sheet directly that the jQuery UI provides. And so that's what we're going to do in this video is go ahead and update the file directly. So what I want you to do is open up your website folder and I want you to browse to your jQuery UI folder. Now the style sheet we're going to be updating is this jQuery-UI.structure. That's what we need to work against to alter the tooltip widget. So what first thing I want you to do is actually right click on this, copy, and then paste it right back into the folder. And what that gives us is a backup copy of the style sheet in case we need to revert to it for whatever reason. Then what I want you to do is go ahead and edit this with Notepad++ and that should pull up the style sheet. And we're going to go all the way to the bottom here. And these are the two CSS classes we need to work against. The UI-tooltip and the body UI tooltip. And so we can close this out now. And let's go ahead and load up our web page. By the way, go ahead and clear any arguments you have in here. Let's just keep this empty for now. So go ahead and open this up in Chrome or whatever browser you want to use. And let's go ahead and expand this out. And there you can see we've got our default tooltip. So the first thing we want to do is increase the width of the tooltip. So in order to do that, we need to go ahead and update the style sheet. So let's flip back to the style sheet and we're going to go ahead and specify the width property. So let's type in width here. And we're gonna go ahead and set that to 200 pixels. Now you'll notice this max width property that they provided. Basically, this means that the tooltip cannot expand out past 300 pixels. So if you wanted your tooltip at 500 pixels, I don't know why you'd want that, but if you did, you'd have to increase this to 500 and then set the width to 500 as well. But in any event, we're just gonna set this to 200 pixels. Now let's not save anything yet. Let's go back and hover over Julius just to see the width again. And there you can see it. Now let's go ahead and save everything up. Let's refresh our page, and there you can see, now we've got a much larger tooltip. So that's how you increase the width of the tooltip. Now, what if we want to increase the width of the border? We can also do that, and we can do it right here. So let's increase that to eight pixels. So let's go ahead and save this, refresh our page, and there you can see the border is now eight pixels. Now, what if we want to go ahead and give the border a color? Let's go ahead and do that, and of course we use the border color property. Now I've already got that typed out, so we'll just go ahead and copy and paste this. So let's go ahead and save this. We'll refresh our page. And there you can see now we've got a nice color for our border. Now let's go ahead and change the color of the text to yellow. And let's also give a background to our tooltip. So we'll go ahead and just use the background property. If you took my CSS course, you will remember all of these. And let's set that to green. So let's go ahead and save everything up here. Let's refresh our page. And there you can see that tooltip looks a lot nicer. And it's sort of a, a Roman theme, right? With all the red, the green, and the yellow. So that's how you alter the tooltip using the jQuery UI style sheet. 